It's not hard to find rubbish in most town centres, and Chelmsford is no exception. But today, environmental health officers Doreen and Gary are on their way to fight the filth that lies below. We're going down to a Chinese restaurant where we've had a report of a block sewer, uh, which could be causing problems in the kitchen, but it's also affecting other households. A quick look reveals the problem. Oh, yeah. Absolutely full of fat in there, which has obviously come back up the line from the restaurant. When food fat is washed down the sink, it solidifies in the drain. When restaurants do this, problems rapidly ensue. What you're seeing here is, is quite typical. If uh, takeaways or food premises don't have the correct procedures in place, the uh, fat is discharged down the sewer network and then obviously it leads to blockages and odour complaints. So we'll need to speak to the uh, owner and uh, get this sorted out. Doreen thinks the food fat has come from a nearby Chinese restaurant and a back passage soon leads to a dodgy back door. Whoops. Well, that's come off. That's handy, isn't it? Thanks. Thanks. It's all right. Is Doreen, we're in. Is it? We're all right, in. all right, OK. <laughs> Thank you for that. Once inside the kitchen, the truth is soon revealed. As you can see, there is quite a lot of fat oil and grease around the chamber and pieces of that will break off and go down the sewer and cause point blockages. They've traced the problem to its source, and now they'll arrange to have it dealt with. Is it possible for somebody to be here about half past nine on oh, Wednesday? Wednesday. Yes, because right. they, they need to get the big jetter in. In the meantime, there's a report of a second blockage nearby. It seems the culprit here is another restaurant, this time a curry house. I mean, if you look in there, you can clearly see massive, massive amount of fat. And you can obviously smell it. It's a horrendous smell coming out of the manhole. So we definitely need to do some work here. Oh, this could be a nightmare one to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. So what we're doing now is using what we call gully grabs to try and grab the fat off the bench in, because it's the safest way to do it. And it saves having to wash the fat down, which could cause a block further on. So we're just trying to take out as much as we can. Disturbing the fat like this releases some less than fragrant odours. The smell of this is horrendous. Uh, this is one of the main problems that we have is that we get a lot of odour complaints based on the fat oil and grease that's put down the sewer. <laughs> Horrible curried smell of rancid grease. Absolutely vile. But filth breeds filth. The other problem with having all the fat oil and grease in the sewers is that it's likely to attract rats. So the last thing we want is to have a rat infestation around here. But the fat and the smell have got to go. We'll wash down the walls in there, we'll disinfect it, put the lid down, and job done. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be anywhere near that when that started up. I don't fancy that going all over me. There are several techniques that are used to clear drains of blockages. High pressure water is the order of the day today. And it's an effective weapon of choice. Right down. But the battle is far from over. Now the filth fighters will confront the filth maker. Mr. Mia, that's not very nice, is it? Yeah. But you can, can you see, you see the all the fat in here? Yeah. That's really revolting. We'll have to clean it every week, so I think you might need well, to do it twice I think a week. Then. I think somebody yeah. forgot to clean it this yeah. week. Well, what we're going to do is we've got a leaflet here. You can clearly see that. Uh, the things that you can do in green and the things that we don't want you to do in red. We'll do that, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. I always try my best, you know. I know you do, I know you do. Make... He'll have a look at the paperwork we give him which shows him the do's and don'ts of, of what's done in the kitchen and uh, we'll come back and see him in a, in a couple of months' time. Okay. Drain unblocked, advice dispensed. Gary and Doreen are off to find another filthy foe.